what's going on everybody jake the happy snake here and welcome to episode 55 of pokemon trainer jake last time i went through route 109 and i arrived in slateport city this time i'm going to be exploring slateport and i'm going to be figuring out what team aqua is doing here but before i do that i would like to mention at the end of the last episode i discovered how to get to the other regions from hoenn and that is the uh the ferry port or whatever it's right here uh i actually went back to johto off screen because i wanted to do some training i also wanted to get some more money however i wasn't very successful at getting more money but i did do a little bit of off screen training i got tsunami to level 21 and he learned water pulse so i got rid of water gun uh, Riker is level 19 he tried to learn poison powder but i passed on it because i wanted to keep i wanted to keep his, his moves the way they are and falco is now level 19. So I'm good to go. I'm actually going to move Falco to the, to the uh, first slot. Now, at some point off screen, I might go back to Johto again and do a lot of trainer rematches with my Johto team. Again, doing this off screen uh, just so I can get some more money. I, I think I'm okay for now, but if I am hard up for some cash, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Anyways, so yes, Team Aqua is here at the museum. Hey there, quit pushing. This is the line. Can't you see? Uh, yes, I can see. There is literally like 11 of you. <clears throat> anyway, so what we're supposed to do is we are supposed to go inside here and talk to this guy. Hmm, if this goes here and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Arrgh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Hmm? Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, that there. Are they the Devon Goods? But, hmm, this won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Could I get you to go find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Uh, sure. So. Now that we've done that, the lineup of Team Aqua Grunts has magically disappeared. And this is the museum. The Endless Sea sustains all life. O Oceanic Museum. So, go inside. Here's some nice music. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. Andrew's fee is $50. Yeah, you have to pay to get in here. Seriously, it's really stupid. Anyways. Yes? If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the, the parts I ordered from Dr. Stone of, De of Devon. D did I say Dr. Stone? M Mr. Stone, not Dr. Stone. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare for our, our expedition now. And not quite. <laughs> Hold it! We'll take those parts. What? what? Who are you people? Really? You don't know who they? You don't know who they are? There's like literally eleven of them standing outside of the museum, just lined up. We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your shut your yap and fork them over. Oh, okay. Is this how you want to be? Team Aqua Grunt. So he's got a Carvana. I should have stuck with uh, Riker, but it's all right. So. Carvana is a water and dark type. We're gonna go ahead and use wing attack. Rough skin, that's gonna hurt me a little bit. Whatever. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Seriously! Oh man, that's rough. That's seriously rough. Oh boy. Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is gonna be furious! I don't actually want to lead with Tsunami, but it looks like I'm not getting much of a choice. Zubat, that's fine, because Tsunami has Rock Throw, which is super effective. Oh, he has two Pokemon. Okay. Well, you know, I was hoping to get Falco and Riker to level 20, but you know what? Looks like that stupid Carvana had other plans, so... so be it. Okay. 162 experience, and another Carvana! Wow. Okay, well we still have Rock Smash, which is, uh... It's, 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 uh... Oh, it's a one-hit KO. I was gonna say it's starting to become kind of useless, but... No, I guess not. There we go! I lost two! $280. Wait, you, you gave less money than the other guy. Why is that? If we don't get those parts... We're in for it. Hard. I didn't count on being meddled with with by some meddling kid. You sound like somebody from Scooby-Doo. And who's this? 
I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts, and you simps are held up by a mere child. We are Team Aqua, and we love the sea. And I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Da, 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 da. Pokemon people, all life depends on the sea. So, Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Can you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand. Our noble objective. But I warn you. Don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost you dearly. Don't you forget it. Trust me, I won't. Oh, oh so you're, you're, you're Jake. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh, yes, I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devon. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again. And now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities, though. Thank you, I really don't care, and we magically healed, which is actually very nice. So, we are finished here, but there is one lone Team Aqua Grunt left. But again, I still can't get used to the 4D uh, model talking to a 3D model, it's weird. Hey, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Aqua member that you, th you thought before, remember? Back in Restore Tunnel? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. And we get the team for Thief. I'm not gonna use that at all. Um, but I appreciate it. So, oh my gosh, not this guy again. Huh? I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Yes. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name's Scott. Yes, you have. We met, we met in Petalburg. I just saw Simako run away from here like they were stung. Let me guess, you drove them away? Hmm, maybe just maybe this trainer. All right, I think you're going to become a good friend. So let's pursue each other in our Pokenavs. Great. What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I do want to keep an eye on talent of other people too. So I'll be off to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Jake. So the, I was talking about Scott when we first met him in Petalburg City. And I called him the most useless character in the game, and I believe that. We have now encountered him twice, and he has done nothing but waste my time. Seriously, that's all he's done. He is just a serious waste of time, that guy. Which should I choose? Making a beeline for Mauville on Cycling Road, or take the low road and look for Pokemon? I don't know, and I do not care. And look, it's Professor Birch! What do you want? Oh, Jake, imagine seeing you here. Where might my, might my may be? Oh, I see, you two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes, I heard that your Pokenav had a match call system installed. Well, then, I should register you in my Pokenav as well. That way, we could, even when we're apart, I can rate your Pokedex anytime. That's all you care about. That's all the professors care about. Please keep, keep an eye out for my May. What, what are you talking about? She's your daughter. That's, she's your responsibility. Well, I had better get going. See you again, Jake. And he's going back. I mean, your lab is this way. I remember the very first time I played through Emerald, I was like... When I saw him here, I was like, wow, I'm far away from home. Is he actually not at his lab? So I went all the way back to Little Root from here, and he was there in his lab, and I, I was expecting him to not be there. But anyways. So we got a couple of trainers here to fight. When cute Pokemon help each other, you won't see a more adorable sight. Okay. Pokefan Caleb has a plusle. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and use Quick Attack. Who knows this, yeah. It's gonna say this plus it probably has like Thunderbolt or something. Okay, um. I'm gonna switch up to Riker. Yep, Spark is gonna be not very effective. Sucks for you. And Riker's paralyzed. Fine. Just fine. So we are going to use Mega Drain. Okay. Wait, did, it, did he just heal? What just happened? I don't even know. I have no idea. All right, so Mega Drain. Perfect. So I'm probably gonna end up healing off screen after this battle. Because I don't wanna use any more super potions. 
So I feel like I'd be probably I'd be, be better off just going back to sleep or to heal. I'll use headbutt now. And puzzle goes down. Excellent. Okay. And a mine on. All right, we'll just keep mega draining because it's better. Oh, and actually, I think we're going to be challenged by the next trainer immediately after this. So that's great. Let's try headbutt. Let's try headbutting. Oh, Orenberry. That's why the plusle healed. Okay, that makes perfect sense. And butt and mine and goes down. There we go. 426 experience points and level 20 for Riker. Awesome. Have you no know, compassion or pity? All right. And yeah, kind of knew this was gonna happen. Isabel has a plusle, so it's pretty much the exact same battle. Um, I'm just gonna. I was not expecting this at all. I'm gonna go over to Tsunami, because at least that way I'll go get a little experience points. Uh, Tsunami, I mean, this is gonna be easy because Tsunami has Mud Shot and Electric Head moves aren't going to affect him. So, yeah. So, Plusle goes down without any problems. A little bit of experience for Tsunami and a little bit of experience for Falco. So, Minun is next. Mud shot the mine on, and there we go. That's it. No problem. No problem at all. And almost a level up for Tsunami. Not quite. All right, I'm gonna go back and heal really quick. Oh, great! You're gonna. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I've gone back and healed, and Falco is ready to go. So let's go into this route. We are now in Route 103. Got some trainers to fight here. Do you feel the tug of our soul-soothing fragrance? No, not really. Roma Lady Daisy. Oh gosh, Daisy is one of my least favorite characters in the Mario universe, mainly because of how annoying she is. I am Daisy! Oh my goodness, she's so annoying. Anyways, Rosalia, or who I used to call Rosalia. No match for Falco. Perfect. And now Falco is two levels away from evolving, which is awesome. And she has a Shroomish. So we're going to wing attack the Shroomish. And there we go. No problem at all. And that's it. You weren't led astray by our Roma, no. Okay, so we're gonna go with Riker in the second slot because it looks like we have a double battle here. These are the only battles that are actually double battles, it seems like in PokeMMO. We battle together as one team. No kidding. Amy and Liv. Minon and Plusle. Oh good, that's really gonna be nice for Falco. So, I'm just gonna go right for one. We're just gonna try to take out one of these. Helping hand, okay, I'm not really too bothered by that. Quick attack, Spark, okay, that's gonna do a lot to Falco. That's going to knock him out. That's... Really frustrating, but whatever. Actually, the next gym is, a, is an Electric Tech gym, so I won't be using Falco probably at all in that. I'll probably be using uh, Tsunami for most of that gym. Uh, let's just go with Mega Drain. Yeah, you have to use Spark on Riker. I mean, you, you, you won't be able to use it on Tsunami. Anyways, Bustle goes down. Perfect. And that's going to get Tsunami to level 22. And he wants to learn Mud Bomb. I don't think I'm going to teach that. It's got more power. 10 more power than Mud Shot, but it's got less accuracy. And it's got less PP. So, you know, I would rather have a less powerful move that's more accurate. I'm gonna be quite honest. Plus, it doesn't have as much PP, so I'm totally fine with keeping Mud Shot, even though it's weaker. It's more accurate, so yeah. 
because I really don't like like super low accuracy moves unless the, unless I feel like it's worth it. So yeah. Anyways, Rock Smash is gonna take out the Minun. Perfect. 230 and 230. There we go. We defeated the twins. Oh, we lost Big Sister. Yes, you did. All right, Falco is all healed up and ready to continue. Our Pokemon is lifelessly adorable. Don't be shy. I'll show you. I think this is a guy with a Skitty. At least he has a, he has a Skitty in in the Game Boy Advance games. Yeah. And he caught the Skitty in a Luxury Ball. Interesting. Okay, so I'm not too worried about this unless he has like Thunderbolt or something, which would be really unfortunate. Ring attack, and you have an Orenberry. One more ring attack will do the trick, and all you have is tackle. I'm not worried about tackle at all. And Skitty goes down. That's it. We hit 80,000 bucks, which is nice. Oh my gosh, my darling Pokemon. Jeepers. And he's gonna register me and his Pokenav. Fine. Have at it. Oh, it's a fisherman. God, my fishing lines all snarl up. I'm getting frustrated and mean. That's it, battle me. Wow, okay, sure. Fisherman Andrew, Tentacool. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep going with Wing Attack. That's gonna take out the Tentacool in one hit. Very nice. And a Magic Carp. This is a complete waste of my time. But fine. Quick Attack. And, uh, oh my goodness, this is worse! A little 5 Magikarp. This is like, this is gonna give me like literally like 30 experience points. 44, okay, 14 more. <laughs> yeah, you're annoyed? What about me? You just wasted my time, dude, seriously. I mean, you gave me a little bit of money, I guess. We're gonna go to Old Del yeah, we can get to Old Del Town, but... Wow, the cave is actually not here. And there's people swimming. I don't think they're th they are there. I don't think they're there in the normal games. There's normally what what do you call not altering cave? I think there's a, it might be altering cave actually, or I think there might be another name for it. I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, so we're done with this area. So, um, there's two trainers up here. I would like to fight this guy. So let's go ahead and fight him. How do you get into a space this small? Because I'm stealthy. Maybe I guess. Rut. All right, so I don't want to die at all. Hopefully, wing attack will be enough. Maybe not. I don't know. Makahit is pretty fat and bulky. Nope. One hit KO. Very nice. That's what I was hoping for. And Bird is at level 21, but he's not going to change. He's not going to change to 20. Oh my gosh, yes! Holy crap. This is really early for him to be learning this move. I normally have to wait until I get the TM from the 6th gym um, to teach this to my Taillow. I never t I teach Aerial Ace to Felco as a Taillow. He's always a Swellow. But this is a perfect accuracy move. It has the same power as Wing Attack. Um, it has 15 less PP, but it never misses. This is a really good move. I'm definitely getting, getting rid of Wing Attack for sure. Awesome. And that means Falco is one level away from evolving, which is really nice. Now, I'm gonna put Tsunami in the front because this guy, um, actually, let me just cut here because I'm gonna want this item. All right. Did my guitar's wailing draw you in? No, I don't, I didn't hear any guitar wailing. Marcus has a Voltorb. So this is going to be an easy mud shot. And Sonic Boom, that's going to do 20 HP. Not worried about that. And mud shot is going to kill you. There we go. There we go. My woman show is ruined. All right, let's see what this is. A PB up, I have three of those now. Cause I still, I have two from Johto. Um, so guys, that's where I'm going to end off this video. Next time on Pokemon Trainer Jake, I am going to be going through the Trick House. Um, because normally there's an item in there 
and then you get through the first trick house puzzle that I always like to pick up, and I'm hoping that it's going to be there in the in Poke MMO. So next time on Pokemon Trainer Jake, I'll be going through the trick house. It's going to be interesting. And if I have enough time, I'll probably go move on to the next route. We'll see. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I will see you back here on Saturday morning for the next episode. Thanks, guys. Peace out.